mean, we're, we're a top 25 team. That's that's a team that's going to contend for the national title. Probably the best team we'll play all year. And, and we, well, we'll see because yeah. Michigan State and some of those teams are good. But in other words, we hung in with them. It was a great test for us. Crowd was great. Energy's back here. Feels like the old Cole Fieldhouse crowd already seen everybody back here. But. Good evening from Xfinity Center. Virginia breaks their losing streak against teams with University of Maryland in their name. <laughs> Terps go down 76-71. Uh, on in a little bit, we're gonna have the Grams, Jonathan and Ernie, and, and other special guests. But for right now, Mason, Bruce, what'd you make it tonight? Uh, pretty much how me and Mason saw it. I mean, number four against 24. Virginia's the best team Maryland will play this year, maybe along with Michigan, but they lost by five points, had a couple critical turnovers, and they had a shot to cut the lead. But Virginia was great. They were great early that first half. They were unbelievable. One turnover, uh, eight threes. They were almost flawless in that first half. Yeah, I saw a lot of the same. Um, I'll go on a different note. Maryland had their chances and they just didn't make the plays. The uh, turnover or missed shot by Ayala and the tap back that didn't happen. Uh, you can just point them out. You can go through the game and say, here are the plays that we needed to make to win and we didn't make them and that's, that's, that's a good story. Okay, look, Maryland did what Maryland does and it almost worked at the end. Couple of plays away, you can't miss that many free throws, layups, etc. When you're the underdog, guys, 48 to 31, they were down. Yeah, and not a lot of teams get back in it against. And they Virginia. got in against the number four team in the country, yeah. almost back. Uh, maybe they needed to play that frantically yeah. the whole time. I don't know. Well, that little but press the guy hurt us. The guy who hurt us was yeah. salt. 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 Yeah, just Why weren't they hacking him, man? I don't know. Why were it, they giving him those stuffs, Mason? Well, he hasn't scored, according to uh, my Virginia right. guy over he there. He up, doesn't score. That's, right. that's going that to be, up. that he, could be his career high in points. So he he that is that 12 up. points? I think it's 14 by the end. Okay. Well, look, it, it's, it was great to have a game like this at Comcast Center, Xfinity Center, Cole Fieldhouse, Prinkert, whatever you want to call Sold it. Sold out, baby. Sold, Sold out. out. And it was fun and the team got better because of it we're going to be back in a moment with jonathan graham and see if we can get ernie this is the binder four gates post game show we'll be back in a moment as we all know time is money that's where our fully managed approach to it can help with proactive remote monitoring and management we're able to keep tabs on your it infrastructure 24 7 365 days a year want to learn more Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Guests at this point, Jonathan Graham. You've been through a lot of tough Big Ten type battles, some ACC battles. This game bring back uh, memories for you? Yeah, definitely. So uh, vintage Virginia team. You know, uh, very, very well coached, especially defensively, and uh, very disciplined on offense. But uh, proud of proud of how the Terps played tonight. Uh, they, you know, they fought hard. They never they never quit. And uh, at the end of the day, a five-point loss against the number four team in the country, I'd say that's a pretty good game. Obviously, no more victories, but i say a pretty, a very, pretty good effort tonight. Yep. Uh, the freshmen grow up instantly playing in an environment like this? Yeah, definitely. Um, at this point, you know, freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. It's, you know, only, like, you know, it's only been a couple games, though. Yeah. Really? Yeah, but, like, you know, when you're relying on, on freshmen like this team is, you know, you grow up, you grow up quick. Yeah. Especially against a great team like this, you know, you gain a lot of experience, and uh, it prepares you for big games down the road. And there's going to be a lot of big games. Mason? When you're playing against a guy like Salt, who's not a scorer at all, 12 might have been or 14 might have been his career high, how does it change when he starts scoring with your preparation from the game? Oh, you know, it definitely adds another element uh, to the game plan. You know, what, what Salt brings for them is like, you know, it bring, brings a lot of toughness for him, especially on the inside, rebounding. And uh, when he's scoring, that's just another element to add to the offense. So, you know, it's another thing you got to kind of worry about. But um, 
Again, I thought overall, I thought the team contained them pretty, pretty well. You know, you, you want you want guys like that to score more, guys that aren't used to scoring as much, as opposed to the guys that you expect to score. So I, I feel like all in all, they did a solid job. It was a shame that Cowan went through a little cold spell there. He heated up at the end, but you know that happens to everybody once in a while. Yeah, this is one of those nights. You know, it, it can happen to anybody. You know, Cowan's a great player. We all know that. You know, he's the leader of this team. You know, he, and I'm, I'm confident that he would definitely bounce back in the next game. All right. Well, we got Bruce and your dad on. Right. So coming up in a second. But Maryland plays the ultimate Jonathan Graham game. Penn State, <laughs> Maryland, Saturday night. Penn State's looking pretty good. Yeah, I got a good look at them last night against Virginia Tech. I mean, uh, I'm not surprised at this point. You know, they're they're a very tough team. They're well coached by Coach Chambers. Uh, they play hard, and they're going to be ready Saturday. So, you know, so the turfs have to definitely be got got to regroup and uh, get yourself ready because Penn State's they're ready to come in here and get a road win. Yeah, well, I went up to Penn State on Saturday. It was the same weather as always. Yeah, I, ice and, cold, yeah, <laughs> ice cold, rainy. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure they'll be happy to get out of there and play someplace else. But who'd they beat the other night? Was that last night? Virginia yeah, Tech. Yeah, Virginia Tech, number 13 in the country. Yeah, I guess good, good for the Big Ten. I guess yeah. that's what we can say tonight. All right, we will be back with uh, the two old guys. You had Ernie and Bruce coming on in a second. We'll be right back. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, Call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Jimmy Patsos, Ernie Graham. Hi, Ernie. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? <laughs> Jimmy, give me your assessment, then we'll get Ernie's. You know what? It was a great game. You know, we scored the most points that anybody scored against Virginia. You got to stay positive with that. Um, we had our chances when Jerome missed his free throw, but I thought Ayala and Wiggins getting 13 each. And but when Bruno goes to block shots, everybody has to rebound. We kind of got beat on the offensive last there, but great test for us. Helps us get better and prepares for the big games down in the Big Ten. Ernie. But, uh, I enjoyed the fact that they didn't give up. You know, they could have given up a couple of times. Um, and they came back and they stayed in the game. They showed a lot of patience. They weren't rushing. Uh, they weren't taking quick, bad shots. They moved the ball, just didn't get the ball to go in a couple of times down the stretch. I'll ask both of you, did you, were you surprised that, that uh, Turgeon kind of went small by just playing Bruno or sticks yeah i mean he had to do that because he wanted to put more cell at the four and they wanted to go wanted to speed the pace up and to come back you got to go small i just think everybody has to understand we're, we're a top 25 team that's that's a team that's going to contend for the national title probably the best team we'll play all year and, and we well we'll see because yeah. michigan state and some of those teams are good but in other words we hung in with them it was a great test for us crowd was great energy's back here it feels like the old cole field house crowd already seen everybody back here but the young guys are getting better, and this is a game that's going to help the young guys get better. Cowan, a little more a little more upbeat, positive energy to the rim, and when they stop him, maybe kick it. But let me tell you something. Wiggins, Marcel, Ayala, who are young, and then Sticks is a great player, Jalen Smith, and Fernando's doing some things. But when he goes to block the shot, everybody else has to rebound. That hurt us tonight, but we're learning and getting better. Right. Should have been hacking 33. I mean, the big guy, Salt. Put him on the line. Out. You can't stand there and watch the play. Right. Once the shot goes up, you got to find him. He did it two two times straight and dunked the basketball. And you can't have that. But Virginia is very good. So remember, game. we're judging against one of the top teams in the country, and we're right there. So I'm very here awesome. in Maryland. It doesn't right. matter who they are. That's exactly right. Them. That's right. See you. Thanks All right. A lot. Thanks, Jimmy. Ernie. Thank you. Sign off, Wayne. Well, I think that was an all-timer there, Bruce, from Xfinity Center for Intern Mason, Bruce Poser. The whole Sports Maven Saturday at 9 o'clock will be here for the post game against Penn State. Saturday night should be interesting to see how we rebound. And the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, remember, in the nest, we'll preview that game on Sunday. So uh, Mason's right off camera, but for all of us, good night from Xfinity Center. The team learned a little bit tonight. We'll be better next time.